Okay, so at the beginning of the trick you want the cards in this configuration. So two, three, four, five, and then the four uh, black cards. And um, remember, if you want to count them off the top of the pack in the, at the beginning, you obviously need to reverse the order, right? That makes sense, because then if you deal them, you'll reverse the order and you'll end up in this configuration. Okay, once you're in this configuration, um, this is actually a second move you have to do, <laughs> apart from the Elmsley count, but it doesn't really count as a move in my opinion. It's really easy and I'll show it to you right now. Okay, uh, you show them the cards you're going to use, like this. I'll, I'll use the two, the three, the four and the five of hearts and you don't show the black cards just yet. And then you spread the rest just showing the four more black cards real quickly. Don't call them out by name. You don't want the spectators to remember um, the cards because later when you do the Elmsley count, you'll show some, uh, some cards twice. So you don't really want uh, too much attention on these black cards. And so you just, um, you just show the black cards quickly and then while you're squaring up, you catch a pinky break underneath the four red cards and the first black card, okay, like that. And the way you do this is once you're spreading, I'll try to show this from, you, you, um, your pinky will push up under this uh, first black card, so it will naturally form a break like this, okay. And you can make the break a little bit smaller, so it's uh, not that obvious. But the good thing is you'll cover the front with your index finger and the sides with the other finger, so nobody will be able to see the break from the front. So you're all good. And then, um, once you have the break, you'll say, I'll separate the black cards from the red cards. And what you'll do is you take everything that's beneath the break and you, you lift up this packet in this kind of deep biddle grip and you flip the bottom packet, okay, like this. So your index finger will curl underneath and then it will just straighten again together with the other fingers. You will clip the cards between the index finger and the middle finger and ring finger and maybe a little bit the pinky and you'll just flip them, okay, like this. You can practice this a little bit without the other packet. Once you have this move down, you can do it together and you flip and then you immediately will grab the pack once more and place it somewhere over here. And you say, I'll play, place the black cards here. And then just show, show the um, red cards once more if you want to. And I did it in this fashion, holding it in the biddle grip. Just pull off one card, flip it with the packet, pull off the next, flip it with the packet, pull off the next, just flip it. And then those are obviously two cards and you just flip this on top. The way you do this is you hold this in the biddle grip then your ring finger comes to the side and it kind of throws the card over. Okay, once more. Just align it with the rest of the cards and just flip it over. Don't worry, um, the cards will stay together. <laughs> flip it, okay. Then you'll say I'll place the four, five, the four and the three over here. Obviously it's not the case, you're putting the black card, the five and the four, the three and the two remain in your hand, okay? And then you just show them as one card, just say, and I put, I place the two on top of the black cards, like so. 